Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to react to Park Ji Hoon new album, Blank or Black. It's always a love or hate relationship with his music, so I don't know what to expect. I just hope I will like it, so let's start. Hello guys before starting this video, I wanted to present you a new K-pop merch shop, Utopia Land. It is owned by my friend and I'm trying to help her. So she designed it herself, right now it's mostly BTS but she is planning to add some other K-pop groups so you can leave your request for her in the comments below. Anyway she ships everywhere in the world, I would leave the link of her shop either in the description or in the comments section. Please go check her work. Now let's start the video. The melody and the way they blend so many genres beautifully was really cool. However, the track was way too short to give a chance to the listener to fully grasp the vibe of it and fully enjoy it. Still a beautiful song, just wish it was longer 8.2.10. It was an okay song, to be honest he has released better songs than this. I don't know it felt literally blank and uninteresting. I enjoyed the music video though, I liked the storyline and the set. However, this is not a song for me 6 tenths. We're going pop R&B with some retro beats in the instrumental, it was definitely a vibe. He sounded so good too. This is the kind of song that I can put while studying or whenever I'm walking, driving alone at night. Definitely something I can listen to sometimes, 8.2.10. We're having the first really upbeat song and it was a vibe for sure. Personally this isn't the kind of song that I enjoy listening to so I won't listen to I again. However, it's still an okay song I especially appreciated his rap verses. Overall, 7 tenths. When I saw Bang Yongik as the feature, I was so excited I really love his voice. The brass was actually really good, it gave that reggaeton vibe to the song. It was vibey, I can listen to it here and there whenever I'm in the mood. He sounded really good here too and Yongik low timbre added some spice to the song. Overall, 7.5, 10. He dropped the best song at the end. The heavy brass created such a unique and cool vibe for the song. It's like when the song ends, you just want to listen to it again and on repeat. It was soft, beautiful and put his amazing vocals in the light. The best for the end, 8.5, 10. It wasn't a bad album but it wasn't his best either. It had some good songs here and there but overall wasn't really my cup of tea. I'm a bit bummed by this album, it felt a bit lackluster. Still it was an okay comeback, hope his next one would be better 7.5, 10. That's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Also tell me in the comments what are your thoughts on the album. Hope to see you in my next video, please take care and love you. Ooh. Maybe